One, two, three, fuck it. Hello guys, hello everybody, welcome back, I am Anna and today we are going to be reacting to episodes 15 and 16 of the first season of Arrested Development. So guess what, today I introduced my mother to this show and she fucking loved it. She was laughing. Do you know how hard it is to make my mother laugh with like American comedy? It is really fucking hard. That woman has her own sense of humor. <laughs> she never laughs at the correct parts. But she was loving Arrested Development and I think she's gonna finish this show before I do. So... <laughs> Thank you to all of you for introducing us to this amazing show. So yeah, let's go, let's watch this. Michael had begun to work weekends. Ugh. So this isn't bad, right? Just like a normal Saturday. You know, Dad, you don't have to drive so slow. I can ride my bike by myself. This actually doesn't go any faster. <laughs> Dad. Dad! Nice and stick, son. Good reflexes. <laughs> Lindsay, say something to scare me. Me. <laughs> you know what I ought to do? I ought to check myself into a men's penal colony. What? Perhaps. And since he's going to go off and work for 10 hours, I want him to look nice. Thank you, Lupe. What do you mean, work? You got a job, Anyong? Oh, no. Anyong. Oh, no. Why does he not say anything else? Unlike some sons I know. I'm a scholar. I enjoy scholarly pursuits. <sighs> Suddenly playing with yourself is a scholarly pursuit. Buster had an unfortunate encounter in a photo booth on the wildlife populated oh, island of Catalina. <laughs> you get a paycheck from the Blues Company? Well, it's important to the company that I keep up the image of my lifestyle. I believe I'm the one that asked you to start shopping at Quantity Plus. And they made me apply for a membership card. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I know that I'm the one that pays Lupe, I'm giving her the day off. Okay? Uh, does that mean I have to go to your office to get mine too, or...? Everybody gets a paycheck? Bob, in the copy room, he quit today. If you want your money, you're gonna have to work for it. Okay, I accept. I'll take that job. I wouldn't go in there without knocking, Michael. I know we've been putting in a lot of hours, but we gotta keep our heads down and power through, you know, and, and sacrifice. Don't mind me. I'm just here to pick up my paycheck and get out of here. <laughs> this is why your employees hate you. They're actually quite fond of me. Hmm. Okay, guys, back to staff meeting. Are you kidding me? They cannot go to the bathroom. Be like Buster. He's been in the copy room. I haven't seen him all day. In fact, Buster had grown anxious in the confined space of the copy room. Bob. Bob. Shut up, he has PTSD. I need PTSD. a job. Hey, are you trying to make me feel bad? Yeah, I guess. Sorry. Yeah. I'm just bored. That's okay. I guess he just likes work more than he likes you. Girl. We can't put you into 212 because there's already another actor researching a role in there. Steve Buscemi. Oh. oh. Job has already been here. Now this man, everybody in the family is gonna go through jail at this point. Till then, you know, uh, got Buster here to help. That's another guy. <laughs> uh. Michael! You should have seen that comment, Michael. My God. Why can't he walk like a normal person? <laughs> yeah, he's not a chicken. He just doesn't like confined spaces, that's all. I thought it was open spaces. No, it's both. But I love it here. Well, I got bad news for you, Joe. Uh, hey! Pick up the pace, douchebag! Well, he's not here. And since I'm in charge, I'm taking you all out to lunch. The whole staff. With what money? <laughs> Did you reserve a restaurant? Are they taking their own cars? Oh, well, they'll figure something out. No, they won't. You don't have a plan. <laughs> I told you, these people are sheep, all right? In the parking lot, the employees boarded the bus Lupe had rented for her family reunion, thinking Lindsay had reserved it to take them to lunch. The place is empty. All right, let's get in there and bring this company down. My fucking... Hi! 
Now, I'm doing no such thing, and both of our religions have a lot to offer. There's the Jewish notion of heaven, and that, that it can be attained here on earth, and that there is your belief in the cleansing power of the pipe. No more teaching from you. No teaching. No teaching. No it teaching. was at that moment no. that George Sr. reunited Father. with his son-in-law. No! Device, what the hell are you doing here? I'm here to study with you, to learn from you. Teach me. There's no teaching. There's no teaching. Who's this little c And who is this shiny building of a man? Oh, I'm very scared right now. Oh, we're starting. Oh, yes, let me get something to write with. <laughs> you know her father? Old the lady adopt him too? No, he have father. Father no love him. No, he loved me. And loves me. He... I went to beach once. Next thing I know, I'm in crate next to pig. With Lupe gone and the rest of her family working for once, Lucille realized she missed them. Well, now who the hell is going to unload the car? I have my pride. I don't care how much they're paying me. You got paid? I thought we were all making sacrifices. Yeah, well, maybe it's time for some of those big shots of the Bluth Company to start making some sacrifices. I say we shut down construction. <sighs> this is fun. We should do this just for the fun. Easy for him to say. <laughs> he got his paycheck, too. That is not how chicken sounds. Chickens don't clap. This is a game of courage. A game for men. Yeah, well, it's a game I'm ready for. How is this better than? Uh oh, my sister. I, I, mean, I mean, I guess it's more entertaining <laughs> than just going at it. This place is humming along. Hey, would you mind running things for a little while? Well, I'm, I'm not really. It's not hard. It's so hard. And that's when she saw Lupe's family. Hey, who's ready to have some fun? Okay, these units aren't too close together. We can get away with this. Right, people? Yeah, hey, George Michael, where are you? I'm at the office. Lindsay put me in charge here because there was nobody here, and she had to go to the construction site because the workers stopped working. Oh, great. Now we're never going to finish. Now my sandcastle has a giant pool in it. It's making a sandcastle? <laughs> he knew his father had always loved him, but at this moment, he was actually holding the proof in his hands. Unfortunately, it was at this moment that the investigators went into action. Oh. And Lindsay arrived. Lupe! Lupe, I need help with the groceries! That's okay, I, I know how much you care about me. Unfortunately, so does the federal government. You want more punch? Sure. Wait, the feds? I sold you for a pack of cigarettes. Do not ask me how I did it. They offered us a plea bargain. Really? Is it a good one, though? Great, what's the offer? Well, I didn't read it. Well, I just got it yesterday. FYI, I'm trying to get back into the dating world. <laughs> I don't understand how a person can put their sex life in front of their work. He's a man, Michael. He needs a woman. <laughs> He loves it. He's crazy about the plea. He's dying to get out of that prison and be with a woman again. Can somebody read the plea <laughs> first? I'm a mole. Well, you know, God, God doesn't care how big your teeth are. Yes, you could go to a dentist. You could, woo. But now I want to be with you. And I know you can beat this case they have against you. Please. Lucille, we're not taking a plea. Well, we don't even know what the plea is yet. Is that a shot at me? Because that makes me want to read it all the less, huh? <sighs> Big surprise, Mom. It's not like you ever took an interest in our lives. I mean, honestly, if I ever did to maybe what you... Lindsay recalled that earlier that day, she had received a letter from the high school about her own daughter. I will pack your sweet pink mouth with so much iced cream, you'll be the envy of every Jerry and Jane on the block. We're the only house on the block. You've slept with more than four women, you'd know that. I have, Joe. More than five? Let's say five. I'm not a one-night stand kind of guy. I don't like lying to women. These are lawyers. That's Latin for liar. I can't believe I'm still reading. Oh, oh I'm oh. sorry. I'm falling okay. all over you. No! <laughs> You're just working on this plea. Oh, well, if you're pleading with me to have a drink with you, you can stop. 
Tell me she's in more than one episode. Tell me she's in more than just one episode. I love this woman so much. I'm Maggie Lizer. As in Maggie Lizer ass off. <laughs> yeah. What kind of law do you practice? <laughs> Maritime. So then what's your last name? Cute story. Cute story? Yes, Cherith, cute story. And you're getting paid for this, right? There was some talk of ice cream, but not exactly on my terms. Well, where did you get all that? Do you have a job or something? No, but you do. Now look, don't feel guilty. I don't really need tutoring anyways, okay? Enjoy the 200 bucks. Oh, the two six twenties here. That's right. Where did she get that money? And suddenly, Michael recalled some non sequiturs from the night before. So tell me something personal about yourself. Uh, well, I have an irreversible case of ocular retinoblastoma. Hey, I thought we said no more law talk. I really can't see anybody right now. Oh, well, I can't see anybody ever. I'm blind. I'm wasted. And he was overcome with guilt. When can we go out again? <laughs> Good question. Let's just go back to what we do best. OK. Tweak me. George! Lucille. Oh, God, I'm a homewrecker. Oh, no. I never wanted to be that person. No, 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 no. Cindy. <laughs> I didn't know at the time. And now I got to take her and her dog to the park. You just won the gold medal at the Sexual Special Olympics. She can't ever find you again. Don't you see that you're so lucky? God. I broke a couple of my own rules last night. I, she knows that I'm Joe Bluth and got married and I just... What? You what? Well, she was a darer. She's one of those girls who just dares you to do things. You married her? I needed a dare. What had started as an innocent flirtation <gasps> had turned into a series of escal... Did you say seals? Yes, I told you like four hours ago, I sell seals. God, you ever listen to what I say? By the length you'll go to sleep with a woman. Believe me, we didn't do any sleeping. I had sex last night. But he really didn't. Yes, I did. Should we leave justice here? Um, yes, you'll be fine. I want you, boy. It's not too bad. Moments later, thank you, Warden. Cindy arrived. George, I had to see you. You keep talking about a fact. You keep saying I know for a fact. What fact? Faith. I have faith. My prayers will free you. Faith wow. is not a fact. Oh yes, it is. You said so yourself. And caged was deep. George Sr. had said faith is a fact. Unfortunately, it was in the Caged Wisdom blooper bonus footage. I am going to trial because you don't understand what a blooper reel is. Guard! <laughs> this rang false to George Michael, who knew that fundraisers, a passion of her mother's, were something that maybe would avoid. You and Dad are getting divorced? Oh, don't worry, sweetie. No one is fighting over you. And don't worry about Barry reading the plea. We'll let your father rot in prison. Your father with his disgusting tweaking. I couldn't breastfeed any of you kids because of that man. Oh, wait. Ouch. I uh, know, it is thick. Why don't we just take it? I could kiss you on the... All right, well, was what? <laughs> the prosecution has offered a plea? We have, Your Honor. Why are you hiding? She cannot see you. Objection. What? We haven't read it. The solution to all our problems is staring you right in the face and it can't even see you. I gotta go talk to her. Please welcome Shirley Fuke. And that's when George Michael realized maybe had been making money by pretending to be two twin girls. Maybe? One of whom was ill. Yeah, what is this? Well, you ought to know. You can see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Maggie! What is it? Seriously. Well, basically, it's an overview of the government's case against the Bluth family. It's a summary of absolutely everything we've got. Oh, my God. And, and you're just going to give it to me? You're a lawyer. What do you think? Do we oh have a case? God. Oh, my God. On the next Arrested Development... <laughs> no! Maybe attempts to deb bias is sent to break into Maggie's house to steal evidence, only to discover that she's not blind. One, two, three. What? 
Julia. I absolutely adore Julia. She is like such a next level comedian. I love her so fucking much. Tell me, please tell me she is in the whole fucking show. I would die. <laughs> oh my god, this was such a good like the last episode was such a fucking good episode. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I want to watch the next one. My god. This family is such a mess. I love it. Oh, I just remember somebody in the comments last week. Let me look for it. Adam Dilly in YouTube said, quick question. Say you and Michael meet in public and hit it off pretty good. How long after you met his family would you take would it take for you to run? And I thought it was such a fucking good question that I just had to answer in my next video, which is right now. And I have to say that I am <laughs> I am somebody who kind of enjoys to watch a little chaos, you know, chaos in life, chaos in TV and everything makes la makes like interesting, makes like fun. I think that um, I, as long as the mother didn't try to mess with me, you know, because that type of personality I do not do. But as long as the mother didn't try to mess with me personally, um, I would stick around for a while just to laugh my ass off at everything they do. <laughs> I would enjoy so much to hear, you know, they did what now? Like, what the fuck is happening now? <laughs> I guess that's my answer. Alright guys, so this was very, very fun. This is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching with me. Have a great day and I'll be seeing you around. Thank you so much to David Cleveland, Eric, Sheriff, Shiar, Topher B, Cody Evans, Kurt Gold, Jonah Fuel, Les Reese, and Thomas Janice. Hello guys, hello everybody. I don't know what episode we're reacting to today. That would be a great idea to have on hand while I am doing this.